Hello and good morning, everyone. Happy hump day. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hi, morning. Hi, teacher. It's good to see everybody. Even if it's just your avatar, it'd be nice to be able to be with you face to face. Hopefully soon that will happen. Hopefully. Um, I hope everything's going well for you guys. I hope that uh, your other classes are going well. Remember that I'm available if you want to schedule any time with me in small groups to talk about, of course, not anything, not just anything related to this course, but if, if you have questions about uh, things or assignments that you're doing in other classes, um, let me know. Okay, we can schedule time outside of class in the afternoons if you need additional assistance. Today, we've got an activity, and I really want to jump into uh, doing this activity because I want us to try to finish the activity before our next class tomorrow. Because tomorrow, we're going to do another activity that's going to relate to the activity that we do today. So, I want to uh, give you some instructions about what we're going to do today, but I want to tell you at, at uh, 940, when we close the class... I'm going to talk uh, very specifically about grades and assignments, right? I, I would prefer not to speak about grades and assignments until 940. So if you have any questions about grades or, or assignments, uh, please hold off until 940. Why? Because I want you to focus 100% on this team activity for today. All right, so let me give you some tips, some strategies on how to get the most out of today's class. I have shared a link to a YouTube video that offers instructions about what I would like for you guys to do in your teams. I would like for you to work today in class in your teams that we set up earlier this week. Okay, so we're going to work in the same teams that you worked in uh, yesterday, not yesterday, day before yesterday on Monday, okay? So listen to the instructions from the video. I think the video is about 10 minutes or so, more or less. My strategy for you, my tip for you is to listen to the video, pause the vid video whenever you need to, as you need to, as you're listening and you're pausing the video or maybe even replaying the video again, take notes as to what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about because there are a lot of details. There are a lot of details in the instructions. There are a lot of steps involved that, um, that I'm going to ask you to uh, participate in today in class. So take notes. Pause the video as you need to. Replay the video as you need to. And then, once you have completed listening to the video, I would like for you to break out into your rooms. Go into your rooms, create an online meeting, and hit record. Okay, I would try to record everything that you do today as you've done in the past. When you get into your teams today... I would like for you to ask each other to clarify the instructions that each of you listen to in the video so that you're all together as a team clear on the instructions that you need to complete. If at that point you're still as a team not clear on the instructions, then send me a message and I'll come into your team meeting and I can clarify any questions that you have. I would ask that you go through those steps first individually, listening to the video, taking notes, replaying the video as you need to, pausing the video as you need to individually, and then go into your teams, talk about it, and then if you have questions, ask. I would rather you go through those steps before asking me individually about the instructions. Okay, again, I'll, I'll clarify the instructions with your team, with your whole team. 
All right. Now, there are several reasons I'm doing this. One is this is part of a listening act exercise. It's also conversational because I want you guys to clarify and reach an agreement. And then this, the, the last reason is that each team, depending on how many members are in your team today, there might be a slight variation in how you guys work together today. All right. So the way that I'm giving instructions will may vary depending on uh, your your team decisions and how many members are here today, how many members are in your group. All right. So it makes more sense for me to address the group, the team, to clarify any final questions that you have about what you're to do today. Continue, finish the task, complete the task as instructed. All right. Remember to record everything and... That's what I want to work on today. Again, I want to give you as much time today in class to complete the task. If you if you don't finish today, I'm going to ask that you try to finish before tomorrow's class because tomorrow I would like to do another activity based on what we do today. All right? So uh, that's what I would like to do. Please hold off on your questions about your grades. If anyone has any grades uh, questions about grades, at 940, we'll come back. I will summarize again what we worked on today, and I will address questions and actually will clarify a few things about grades. It's really important that you come back at 940, especially if you have questions about your grades. All right, so um, it's 8.07. Again, I don't want to spend a lot of time uh, in class explaining because I want you to have the time that you need to work together and individually for this assignment. But help each other. During these meetings, help each other speak English. If somebody's speaking Spanish very politely, right, encourage them. Very politely encourage them to speak in English, or you might even ask them, right? You might even ask them, uh, "Can you? how do you say that in English, right? So really help each other, even if it's informal conversations, it's just, you know, it's not related, per, even if it's not related to the task, encourage each other to speak in English as much as possible to get the most out of our time together, right, in these classes. All right, guys, uh, the link the link to the video, in fact, if you go into the chat at the very top where it says Mexican Holidays, there's a link that should take you to the video. Go ahead at this time, l watch and listen to the video. Uh, try to use the, the, the tips or the strategies that I mentioned today, right, to take notes and then break out into your groups. Okay, guys? And we'll come back at 9.40. I want to give the entire class for this activity. There are a lot of steps involved. And if you guys have questions in your groups after you've talked about it, one member send me a, a message letting me know which group you're in and that you have a question. And then I'll go into the group and I will try to answer any questions that you have. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. And uh, let's go ahead and begin today's activity. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Hello, Team 7. Hi, teacher. Do you have a question? Hi, teacher. Yes. Well, um, I... Alan, do you want to say your question or for me? Or okay, thank you. Okay. Sure. I, I watched the video, but uh, to be honest, I didn't understand uh, what we are going to do. Uh, but I understood some parts. Okay, we are going to uh, we are going to choose our holiday, and we are going to make three three questions about. And yeah, but uh, we're going to create um, a mind map 
but but we have that question. Um, uh, what we are going to do in the mind map? I mean, we are going. Uh, are we going to to uh, to write uh, related to the answers um, about the 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 the. the the questions or or what what are we going to do um, yes you're going to you're going to include in your mind map the answers uh, to the questions okay teacher the questions that you said and uh, three um, open questions are the same that you said at the beginning you said a question or something like that are they are the same? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I talked about in the video that you guys can assign roles, right? So that each one of you can do different aspects. Even though you're working together, like one of you can be uh, in charge of like writing out the questions, but you can discuss the questions. You can decide as a team what to include in, in the questions. But the, the questions should be try to be open questions like how questions or why questions right and so you would just have one person write out the uh, questions uh maybe one person who likes to draw maybe can write out the mind map but you're all discussing together as a team what should be included in the mind map what might be included in the questions and so think about the answers to the questions when you think about the mind map in uh, when you're developing the basically the answers to the questions. Okay, so we don't have to say uh, the questions in the introduction, right? Um, only the answers? Um, yeah, so... Right, so the introduction, think of the introduction as kind of a background or general information about the holiday that you chose. And then after you include in the introduction, after you state the introduction as a team, each one of you speaking about one minute, it's really brief, about three minutes, then you can present the questions. But make sure that you don't include the answers to the questions in the introduction. Okay. D don't don't include the answers to your questions in the introduction because what we're going to do is you're going to you're going to ask questions to maybe tomorrow hopefully tomorrow somebody else is going to try to answer <clears throat> those questions. Uh, now I understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so you're, today, as you're working together, part of it is most of today is working together and figuring out what the questions are going to be, what the answers are going to be in the form of a mind map, and what you're going to include in your introduction. Hopefully today you have time that you can present your introduction, present your questions, and your key words, your key vocabulary words that relate to to uh, you know to your topic to your holiday and the key words they um, what I would do is I would include the key words in your questions okay okay not so much so, the key words that relate to the answers but the key words that relate to the questions that you're forming so the questions uh, are going to be about uh, introduction. Mm, well, they're re they're related, right? Because the yeah, they're they're related to the holiday, and but they're probably going to be a little bit more specific to s the answers that you're wanting. So the introduction again is just a maybe you talk about a historical context, maybe you just talk very briefly about the holiday right but don't reveal any answers don't give any answers because you want to ask questions so that someone else right can think about 
the answers or maybe even look online to find the answers. But it's okay to include the answers in the mind map. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, okay, that just one part that I don't understand. Um, so, for example, let's say that I'm going to talk about uh, in Mexican independence, uh, and and I ask um, why Mexican independence is very important in Mexico, even though that that is not going to appear in our introduction that's that's my question that's that's correct that's 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 how you should do it um now the question the only thing i would say is maybe the question is a little bit general okay so because you're going to have three questions you might have a question that's slightly more specific but yes you're correct you don't um don't reveal the answer to the question in the introduction. It's just uh, an introduction, very brief, kind of introducing, right, the, the, the holiday. And you can talk about, you know, historical aspect. You can talk about cultural aspect. But again, general, right? It's just kind of to talk a little bit about the, the, um, the holiday, and then you pose your questions, and then someone else is going to listen to your introduction. They're going to listen to your questions. And then they're going to uh, offer an answer. Okay. Now we, we understand. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, I don't know if other questions. For Nancy, I don't know if you have any questions. Susana? Okay, guys. All right, we've got a few more minutes then, and uh, we'll we'll be back in class at nine forty. Yes, teacher. Okay. You so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Teacher. Yes. If I have not like do the reflection. Ya no va a contar, ¿verdad? Uh, we'll talk about... Uh, ahorita voy a explicar un poco de las calificaciones. ¿Ok? Y, y luego me dices si tengas algunas uh, dudas. Prefiero hablar así a todo el grupo uh, tu, tu pregunta. ¿Cómo ves? Ok. ¿Sí? Yeah, it's ok. Ok. All right, guys. It's 9.40. I want to go ahead and uh, summarize first uh, today's activity. There were a lot of steps involved, so I want to... Um, talk again about what we did today and uh, make sure that you're checking the meeting notes. Microsoft Teams under meeting notes, I have today's notes, which you might find helpful as well. So today's task, I gave you guys time in class to try to complete the, uh, the activity. If you still need extra time, Right, you can uh, you can work this afternoon with your teammates to try to complete the task. But I'm going to ask everyone to try to complete today's task by eight o'clock tonight. If any team needs more time, send me a chat and let me know what time you can finish, because I need some time to work uh, to prepare for tomorrow. All right, based on what you guys do today. Tomorrow's activity is going to relate specifically to what we accomplished today in today's task. So it's really important to try to finish the task. All right. So again, 8 o'clock tonight, please try to finish before. If you need more time, send me a, a, a message in chat and let me know what time you plan on finishing today's activity. The next point here, make sure that you upload as an image file your mind map that you completed for this task, okay? So try to upload that to a folder called week seven. And if you can just give it an, a name, just call it, you know, mind map, uh, Mexican holiday, or if you, you can name the Mexican holiday and just indicate mind map, just something that makes it easy for me to identify the file. All right, so again, please make sure that you upload the image file by 8 o'clock tonight of your mind map 
to week seven. Uh, the next point in your presentation, today's activity consisted of two things. One was the preparation, that is working together, uh, coming up with roles, the questioner, the leader, right, and so on, the, the mind map, uh, the person who's responsible for the mind map, and so on. And then you decided on the introduction, what to include in the introduction, and also your three open questions. So make sure that the introduction, when you prepare for your introduction, that you do not include the answers to the questions. The mind map should include the answers to the questions. Okay, so the mind map should be about the questions and also the answers to those questions. Okay, in a visual format, right? And you can choose how you want to design your mind map, but some sort of visual representation of the questions and the answers. The introduction should not include the answers. The introduction, the three-minute, three to four-minute introduction of your uh, holiday, your Mexican holiday, should not include the answers. It's just to provide background information, just a, a little bit of information about the holiday that you're going to uh, later ask questions about. All right, so in your presentation, you want to include first the name of your Mexican holiday. You should have a three to four minute introduction of your Mexican holiday. Followed by three open questions. Question, open questions are questions that usually begin how or why. And the fourth thing to include is uh, key vocabulary, right? So try to include at least six key vocabulary words that you included in the questions. Very important that you include in your questions, in your three questions, the six key vocabulary words that you've identified for your Mexican holiday. All right, so this is going to be your presentation. This is going to be the second part of today's activity. The first part was the planning, the discussion, the making decisions about what to include. And then the second part is the presentation that includes the four things that I just mentioned. Now, I'm going to ask everyone to uh, try to help me find the presentation because what I need tonight, when I prepare for tomorrow's class, all I need for now is the presentation. Okay, so you may have, for example, one long video recording, which is fine. Maybe at the very end, you had two or three practice runs. Maybe you practiced giving your presentation one time, maybe two times, maybe three times. So I need you to tell me where I can find your presentation. So if you have one video file, right, that has everything. Let's say you've got one long video file that lasted an hour and a half. All you need to do, all I'm asking is if you can tell me where I can find the beginning of your three to four minute presentation, right? So I've included here in the notes some examples, right? So, um... Here are some examples. This would be 30 minutes, 45 seconds. That would be like where I can find in the video the beginning of your presentation. Let's say your presentation is longer than one hour. Then it would be one hour, for example, three minutes, 15 seconds. All right. That's just a, a way of for me to find your uh, presentation so I can go right to it because I'm going to basically cut out everything else for the purposes of what we're going to do tomorrow. So that's one way. Maybe some of you are just going to create a file of your presentation. Okay, that's great too. Maybe you just, you paused, you stopped the video and you started the recording again and you offered your presentation. That's fine. That's great. Just make sure all the videos need to go into your week seven folder. But I would ask if you have just a, a file, just for your final presentation, to change the name, say this is the, you know, the holiday. Just give it some name on the file so that it, that helps me find your final presentation. 
No sé si, si me explico lo que estoy pidiendo para, para buscar, para encontrar su, su presentación final. ¿Sí, está, ¿Sí me explico? Sí, ok. Um, after we complete the task, I have one cheaper shirt stating. Ok. Um, All right, the final thing is, if someone did not participate in today's activity, please have one team member, please send me a private chat indicating the person, the teammate, that did not participate. Okay, it's very important. All right, so just send me, please, a private chat um, if one of your teammates did not participate in today's activity. Now, maybe your uh, teammate was not able to participate today in class, but you're willing to work in the afternoons to finish, that, that's fine if you can work it out as a, as, a, as a team, okay? But I'm referring to at the end, if you uh, complete the task this afternoon or tonight and someone did not participate, uh, I need to know. So please send me um, a chat if that's the case. All right, so that's for today's activity. A lot of steps involved. That's what we worked on today. Try to finish up tomorrow so that we can have a related uh, activity that uh, that's based on what we did today. Now, the final thing I'll mention about grades. All right, please, guys, check teacher ease. Right? The reason I'm using teacher ease is so that you guys know at all times how you're doing in this class, what grade you're receiving. So I think it's really important that at least once a week that you're going in to teach your ease to check your grades. You know, sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes, you know, I miss certain things and it's not intentional, but I'm human and sometimes it happens. And so especially when I've got over 40 students and if some of you are not completing tasks online I'm try or on time, I should say, then I may miss some assignments. So we need to work together. So how can we work together? Well, you need to make sure that you're checking your grades. And if your grades are not updated, they're not correct, or I missed something, then you need to try to communicate that to me and help me by saying, okay, this is where it is. This is when I did it. This is where you can find it. That just helps me find your, especially in the case of the performance task. In some cases... I think many of you have completed the task, but the last thing about the performance task is the team evaluation. And the team evaluation, I'm asking that each one of you talk about a different aspect of your performance. So if you've completed that and you still, I have not updated your grade, please send me a message. Let me know. And if you could send me a link to the video, that would be even greater. That would be awesome. Because then it, it just makes it that much easier for me to find your group. Or at least tell me which group that you're in. Because this is from two weeks ago. And uh, it's hard for me to remember, right, uh, which groups that you were in two weeks ago. So ch check your grades and teacheries. Let me know if there's something pending. But I, I want to finish with pending grades. I want to be done with them. And you probably do too. So we need to work together to finish the grades, update the grades. You can still update your performance test. You can still complete the task by completing the, t the evaluation. I'm asking everyone to please do it today, right? Check your grades and teacher ease. Everyone today, every single one of you should check your grades today in teacher ease. Of course, if you have problems getting into teacher ease, send me a message. Let me know. But check your grades for your performance test specifically and also the podcast. The last thing I'll say about the podcast. Last thing I'll say about the podcast. Go in here. Show an example. I'm asking for very specific instructions about how to call the audio file. I'm asking very, very, very specifically how to do it because... This helps me order the um, organize the the files and find the files. Here is an example that I've included as a memo 
in our uh, podcast register file. Pay close attention. Compare what you have to what is shown in this example. Uppercase W, lowercase k, zero, three, underscore. It's hard to see here, perhaps, but there's an underscore. Guión medio, underscore. The title of the episode, you don't have to include every single word if you have a long uh, title. Four or five words is fine. And then number one or number two or number three. This is the number of the episode. So WK stands for week. So week three or whatever week we completed the first episode, and this I may be incorrect here, but the point here is the week that you completed it W, uppercase W, lowercase k, 0, 3. Make sure that you include 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, up to 0, 9. When we get to 10, it'll be D, W, K, 10, W, K, 11. I need to do this because that's how I can order, I can organize or sort the files. And this is important, when, especially when you get up to 14 or 15 episodes. So please, guys... Double check. Please double check today. Yes, right? How to label the audio files in your podcast folder. There are some of you that I still don't have access to uh, your folders. Some of you are, are sending me links to files. Right? And I'm asking, instead of sending a, uh, a link to a file, send me a link to a folder. Why? Because once we do that, we don't have to mess with it anymore. We don't have to deal with it. It's done. Right? I'm not going to ask you to send me a link to every file every week. That's too much work. It's too much work for you. So make sure, d double check, and I've included a memo here. Everyone should go into this file. I've hidden the columns B through F. To make it that much easier, we can see our names, we can see our links, and we can see our memos. So please pay close attention to the memo. And when I have examples here, example this, I'm saying try to follow this example. If you're not sure still what I'm referring to, check out those who have successfully labeled their audio files. And there are many. Okay, we've got Ellie here, Erica, right? Fernando, Leo, Jackie. Okay, so many have successfully changed the names. So take a look at theirs. In fact, better yet, maybe even listen to a few of your classmates' podcasts, right? If it's a topic that you're interested in. All right, so this is what I'd also like for you guys to try to complete today. Please make the changes so I can change your grade. I will change it, but I want to do it today. I want to do all this today. Tomorrow, I don't want to look back at any more grades. I, I want to be flexible, but we need to work together and try to finalize these assignments quicker, right, for all of our sake, so that we can move on. So we can move on to bigger and better things, okay? Any questions, guys, about today's task? Any questions about grades? No. All right. All right. Um, I know I went a little over today, but it was really important to clarify doubts about grades. Please see me if we need to schedule time and talk about anything that we're doing in our, my class, or if you want to talk about it, uh, some questions that you have in other classes, I'm available. Just let me know. All right, guys. We'll stop there today for today, and... Have a great day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, Have a nice day.